you how the clothes that you see on the website which inevitably are worn by a teenager with an eating disorder will look on a woman so we call them styling videos what they really are are donna and i running around like headless chickens getting changed just trying to give you some ideas about how to style your wardrobe and also what pieces to invest in this season. Um, if you are new, you will see um, on Facebook, if you're watching this later, Instagram or YouTube, a button somewhere which says subscribe. So if you push it, um, you will get notifications each time we go live. If you have watched us before, welcome back. It's lovely to see you. We have really missed you the past three weeks. It's really odd not to do this. Um, we've got lots of new items coming in. Um, we are, however, just running the last week of the sale. So those of you who have signed up to our newsletter would have already got a special discount code. We will be sharing it uh, with the rest of you, I think, on Wednesday. So um, for those of you who haven't had your last week of the sale discount code, just look on social media on Wednesday and you will find it. So um, the other thing is, if you're new, you won't know that Donna and I can't see a thing without our specs on. So what everybody does is they chat amongst themselves. They ask questions and we um, come back to you afterwards to answer them. We love it if you join in and you tell us what you like, what you don't like. This week, it would be great if you made suggestions too on how you think that we could all update our wardrobe for 2022. And without further ado, I'm just gonna put my specs back on and say hello to people. Hi, Jenny, we've missed you. Hi, Helen, hi, Suzanne, hi, Jan. Hi, Karen, hi, Anne, hi, Jane. Hi, Anne again, oh, Rosemary. Batson? Batson, Not yet, no, Helen Leg, Mary. Fran, Jerry, Diane, it's lovely to see you all. We want to say a very special hello to Jane Batstone, who popped into the shop this afternoon. Yeah. Bless her. She's come all the way from, was it Warwickshire? Malvern, Malvern um, to spend a week in Tenmar Bank in February. She had no idea how cold it would be. But anyway, she's had a lovely afternoon with us, and um, I think she's off to Duxford with her husband, and they're going to spend a day in Cambridge. But Jane, it was lovely to meet you in the flesh. And um, as we uh, suggested, come back to the uh, cathedral in Ely when we have a flower festival. And when you go and visit it this time, remember when you're in the octagon to look up. Those of you who don't live near here and have never been to Ely Cathedral, I will explain looking up at a later date. If I keep droning on like this, we're going to get to the 40 minutes deadline and we won't have shown you any clothes. So, something old, something new. January and indeed February is a great time to reassess your wardrobe. What this means is you just go through all the items that you have um, and you get rid of the stuff that really you're not going near anymore. And also you consider what key pieces you can invest in this year um, to really, really update what you already have. And also before you chuck out the stuff that you really think you don't want anymore, perhaps look at it and see if you can mix and match it with other items in your wardrobe um, to see actually if you can find a new way of wearing these clothes. Now, we are here to flog you clothes, but as you know, we really want you to buy pieces that you will love, that you will wear forever, and that, without moving completely into sackcloth and ashes, means that you're doing your um, bit for the planet. So we do, personally, we recycle clothes each season. I'm fairly certain that you would have seen me in this dress, and you will definitely have seen Donna in the dress that she's wearing for several years now. But what we do each season is we look at them and we just invest in something new that will update 
our wardrobe and then over time that piece will become a firm favorite and then you will be updating that piece too. Now the beauty of shopping at Artichoke is that everything we sell is fairly classic so that it doesn't really go off trend very very quickly and what we do personally is uh invest in accessories to keep on trend and you'll see this with our footwear and our jewellery as we go through today if we've remembered to put jewellery on that is it's been one of those days again right so top tips about um, reassessing your wardrobe now find your mistakes these are the impulse buys that should have been left in a shop invariably we've bought them in a sale and we always say to people who are shopping the sale with us a 10 quid t-shirt is a waste of 10 quid if you're not going to wear it a 70 pound coat if you're going to wear it 80 pound 80 times is a no-brainer and we're always i think personally when i go wrong it's because i'm either shopping with the girlfriend who says i look lovely or I've bought something because it was a bargain. Now give these to a friend or donate them to a women's refuge. You know, these women, they leave home with nothing and something that you don't particularly want, um, but can afford to give away, you know, it will just lift another woman's spirits. The same with items that are too big or too small. Now, as you all know, I've lost quite a lot of weight recently. I'm not binning my wardrobe this year. I'm going to work with it for another year because there is absolutely no guarantee that at least some of this weight is going to go back on. And I don't want to have to buy two wardrobes in a year. To find outfits that you want to recreate or if you think oh, i need to just update my look but i don't know how to do this use pinterest ladies it's absolutely fabulous we use it all the time when putting together these videos and we are constantly inspired by the out outfit ideas that we find there so to find you know if you've got a pair of uh, navy trousers you want to update just put navy trousers 2022 in the search bar and you will find lots and lots of ideas for you to recreate and the great thing about pinterest is that it's put together by women of all ages all over the world so you are bound to find a couple of people that absolutely chime with your style the next thing to do is to create uniforms. Now, again, we go on about this ad nauseum, but Donna and I wear a uniform. We, we put together our wardrobe and basically we know what's going to go with what when we get up in the morning. And the way to do this is to, to, to um, stick to colour palettes or a garment. So, for example, you can stick to wearing navy and then you can... Um, have little accents around your navy wardrobe and then that makes it very simple when you get dressed in the morning or you can find a garment that you love like your navy blazer and then put together lots of little outfits that you know will go with your navy blazer once you've created your uniforms then you will see the gaps so again, spend um, a, a wintry afternoon just playing with what you already have in your wardrobe. You could, um, if you have a knitted dress, you could find three ways of wearing this knitted dress. You could add a belt, you could pop on an insert collar, you could add a denim jacket, you could add a leather jacket. You know, if you have monochrome outfits, so you've got a black uh, jumper and black trousers, find three different jackets, three different handbags, three different pieces of jewellery that will go with your monochrome base. And I can't do the sums, but I think you've got quite a lot of different outfits there. I've already said, once you've done all this, have a look for the gaps, make a note of it, and that's where your investment should be this season. So here endeth the lecture on updating your wardrobe, but hopefully, ladies, it has given you some ideas of what to look for. Any questions, pop them up. 
We're now about to start playing dressing up. So if you like what you're doing, we're doing even, please push that love button. So my first outfit is my black Pomodoro cocktail dress which I have no idea how old this is, three. but clearly three, four three years, four four, years three, old. Four years. Clearly for two of those years, we've been in lockdown. So even if I did have a hugely sociable life, there has been absolutely nowhere to go in it. So it's a three quarter sleeve cocktail dress, very flattering with the ruching across um, the tummy, a shift dress with a not too plunging um, neckline. If I just twizzle around and you imagine me in a pair of uh, stilettos or courts, fabulous dress for the evening. But I don't go out that much and I love this dress and I want to be able to wear it all the time. So what I've done is I've popped one of our collar inserts underneath. You've seen us lots and lots and lots of times and lots and lots and lots of you buy these collar inserts to look to pop underneath jumpers, but they absolutely transform the look of a dress. So now I have quite a chic daytime look with my uh, opaque tights and my knee high boots. If I just pull the collar out, and I must be careful actually because I couldn't find my own one this morning. This is actually one that I pulled off the shop floor, so I don't want to wipe my orange shape all, face all over it. But now, if I just get rid of that, and you imagine that I have uh, stilettos on rather than boots, you can see that this is a completely different dress. I could wear it with the collar during the day, go out with the same people in the evening and I defy them to realise that I haven't got changed. So this is how fabulous these collar inserts are, ladies, for updating a really old dress. So for £30, which is how much my collar insert cost, I am giving this dress a new lease of life. So that's my outfit number one with collar inserts. And now we have Donna. Hello, and before I start, can I just say, ignore the under 30 and under 40. That's something to do with our sales. So this area is normally, is our sale area at the moment. Um, right, <coughs> excuse me. So I am wearing, um, I could have put on a black dress, but I, had, I knew which dress Sarah was wearing and I thought you've seen enough of me in black. So here's evidence that I wear other colours. So this is another Pomodoro dress from three or four years ago. Um, that I, It's the first time on this year because after Christmas I um, put it on and whipped it straight back off again. Couldn't uh, fit in it, it wasn't very flattering. But, but since then, I've been walking up and down the roads in the local area, picking up toads and uh, to, to save them, not to do anything else with them. Um, so th the dress is back on. So to change the look of this dress, here we have the Peter Pan uh, collar. So round neck dress, Sarah had the V-neck and decided, opted for the pointy collar. So I've shown you the other option, which is the Peter Pan. You could do it up, you could, I, I haven't done it up because this is quite a low um, round neck. If it was higher, <coughs> it looks nice done up. But um, I'll just take this off so you can see the dress without. And then what I've done <coughs> is I've brought some others in to, um, to show you, to give Sarah a little bit longer to get dressed. Because there wasn't a lot for me. And again, oh, actually these collars don't need to go over the head because they button right the way down. There we go. So this is the dress without. There we go. So it changes and it updates, as Sarah said, it updates a dress that, um, um, that you've had for a while and it changes that look. So here's one. So here's, I'm a great fan of a, a sweater dress. So here's my black sweater dress. I have the same one in navy. And so with this, I've chosen the chambray insert collar just to completely change this dress. So I could wear this with, as Sarah said, a belt. 
I could so I could belt it I would actually I would belt this I could put um, knee-high boots with it and that would completely change um, the look of this dress so that's the chambray collar ladies with black the chambray would look just as nice with navy these collars are sized so you do need to go but but remember you're not looking at your dress size you're looking at your um your shoulder width and your neck size so if you're very broad stick to your size but if you're very narrow in the shoulders then you could go down a size right now these two i've decided to show you are very nice under a plain navy dress because they're going to completely change it you know they've got a feature on them so the spot and the star gives a little bit of interest to a plain navy dress um, or a plain navy jumper right sarah's ready so I I'll go off for the next item. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. So. Okay. Right, ladies. Um, yeah, this is all about updating a crew neck jumper. Now, we all have these in our wardrobe. Um, the ones that um, I'm wearing today are from Signature. Um, we've already told you that, that we've popped them in the sale. We've always sold out of them, actually. Because although they're continuing doing them, they're gonna lose the detailing, the button detailing, uh, which we love. So we're trying to source a jumper from elsewhere. Now you pop on a crew neck jumper, and obviously um, the first thing you probably would do to actually lift the black is to either pop a shirt or a collar insert underneath, or indeed to wear a scarf around your neckline. Now what I'm suggesting for 2022 is you actually just pop a white crew neck t-shirt underneath and this will lift the outfit because you have white next to your skin rather than the black then um, it's just a more flattering colour to wear. Um, I've teamed it up with my uh, print stretch trousers from Brantex. We do have a couple of pairs left of these in a 14 and a 16. I think they're reduced to 60 pounds in the sale, but these are my personal ones. And one way to update any outfit this year and next year still is pleather. It is hugely trendy. I'm just in the middle of buying for next winter. Pleather trousers are everywhere. We're not investing too heavily in them because not everybody feels the love for them. But if you just want to think about one item to buy now for next winter to keep you absolutely on trend, it's pleather. And these ones from Brandtex are printed. Next, I'm going to my crossbody, and I should have had this conversation with Donna before we started this video. Are you watching that program on ITV with the woman in who was in um, Line of Duty and she disposes bombs? I'm moving toads every night. Oh, okay. I haven't seen right. telly for Catch weeks. Up. Right, so if you are watching this program, which has completely, completely escaped my attention as far as the name is concerned, let me see if anybody else can think of it. Can anybody else think of what that name is of that program? Can you just pop it on the camera if you know what I'm going on about? Doesn't look so anybody does now. I'll look later. But anyway, she is wearing her crossbody short. It's a lot shorter. It's just below the chest. So again, this is a crossbody that you've invested in in previous seasons, but all you do is you shorten the strap and it is on trend. I'm now moving on to footwear. And uh, because I think somebody might have said something because it's flashing up. Trigger point, that's it, Alison. If you're watching Trigger Point, she's wearing her crossbody really, really short. Now, footwear is what I use each season to keep what is my wardrobe is a fairly classic wardrobe and i just keep on trend by changing the footwear really you know i've worn jumpers shirts and jeans since time immemorial so this season i'm just showing you the camel trainers from vanessa Wu. the gold on the bottom tries in with the gold in my belt and the gold fixings on the bag and these particular trainers i think are 70 pounds just let me have a little look they're 69 pounds they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to lean on the wall and show them in. 
And then the other option for footwear, which is so on trend at the moment, is my child catcher boots. Now, I, I'm not sure how great I look in these. They are incredibly comfortable. When I walk from the car park, it means I'm not going to break my neck. And the reality is uh, that in two years time, when I wouldn't be seen out in public with them, I'll still be able to wear them around the farm. So for me, they are worth the investment. Mine are Timberlands. They're super comfortable. Oh, I can't tell you how comfortable they are. And I think really the reason I, I got them is I've been looking for some DMs for about three or four years. And everyone that I've put on, the leather has been really, really hard. So I've just abandoned that project. The leather on these is really soft. I think they cost £120. But I'm not completely convinced how gorgeous I look in them. So if you want to update your footwear get some child catcher boots. Obviously they've been on the high street this winter, they're not going anywhere next winter either. So this is my outfit number two and I am showing you how to update my crew neck jumper. And I think Donna's ready to roll, so she's coming out too. Right, so I've just quickly, quickly um, listened to Sarah and shortened the, I normally wear this bag down here, so I've just shortened it to see whether I like it or not, and actually I think I do, I do, it is a very different, yeah, different look, not for everybody, but yeah, I'm liking that. Um, right, so this is my um updating with uh, updating an old white t-shirt well not very old but i'm um, still white and some old black trousers um this is something sarah wouldn't do she wouldn't put blue with black however i don't have a problem with it i think it i, I really like it actually um so but this look if you do have a problem with it you could just as easily put this with blue jeans so you won't often see me in a white t-shirt because I'm not deficient in the bust um, area and um, I think I'm too self-conscious for pastel t-shirts or white t-shirts. I feel a lot happier in dark colours because they're more forgiving and bust redu reducing. Um, anyway, so, but I love a white t-shirt, who doesn't? So this is, if you see me in a white t-shirt, this will be how you see it with a, um, a underneath a jumper or underneath a shirt. So this is the Tessa shaped plaid jumper. So normally our Tessa shirt is an over the head. Um, so this is cut in the same way as the Tessa. It's the same cut, but it's buttoned through. I think next time we're going to call it a different name. I think it's called Tessa by mistake. It's, but it's an error. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. We don't often have errors, do we? Anyway, so this is um, Tessa plaid. Um, you can, I could, I would just as easily tuck it in but I'd rough tuck it I wouldn't need tuck it so I'll just show you I could rough tuck it like by crossing it over and rough tuck it in there you know for the relaxed look um, leave it out at the back so I could tuck it in leave it leave it out use it as a jacket use it ladies instead of a cardigan so in the winter you'll see me in a car in a cardigan um, in the summer, in the spring and summer, you could wear a shirt in the same way that you wear a cardigan and this shirt is perfect for it. Um, so I am wearing it with my suede, um, uh, suede uh, Pomodoro, sorry, Pomodoro trousers. So I've had these um, since before Christmas. So they're not that old yet, but they are old. Um, they have been well worn this winter because they're so warm. But obviously this is, I, I'm wearing this now, it's quite chilly today. This can still be a, a cold spring look, but then move into jeans as the weather warms up. Or the same look over cropped, your cropped uh, jeans. Your, we're, very soon we're going to have the pull up um, crop jumping jeans, which, I, um, which would look great with this and I would wear. So there we go. So the um, Tessa shirt, ladies, is, I want to say 59, but I'm just going to check. It is. It's 59 pounds. So how to wear your um, uh, new shirt um, a little bit differently rather than just tucking it into jeans and putting it under a jumper. Okay. We ready, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. 
Right, ladies, I'm on outfit number three. And there are lots of items here that you will have seen me wearing over the years. So I'm just going to start with my uh, denim, uh, what are these called? Summerstone uh, 7 8. I think I probably wore these about three or four weeks ago. And I wore them as an alternative to wearing white jeans in winter. Now I'm showing you how to bring them into spring. So I have no idea how old these jeans are. They are old. I bought them as a 7 8. I think I had a mental aberration. It was one of those things that I bought and I got home and I thought, oh my God, why have I got these? Um, so what I did was I bung them in the wardrobe and about six years later, I just cut the bottoms off. So they are the Angelica Magic Stretch 7 8 jeans. Ladies, we are expecting this year's delivery in two to three weeks time. We have ordered a lot. However, we also have a very long waiting list and this year we cannot repeat. So once we have sold our 1913s, which are the 78 Angelica Magic Stretch, we cannot get any more in until next year. So ladies, even if you think you are not going to wear your white seven eighths until August, please, please get them now. Because if you wait until August, we cannot be confident that in a lot of these sizes, we will have stock for you. So these are my ancient um, 1913s that I cut down. This, as you know, is my ever faithful Barilocci um, jacket. The reason I thought I'd whistle this out today is uh, last uh, August when I was buying for this spring, I nearly had a nervous breakdown because Barilocci said they'd stop doing this blazer. Long story cut short, uh, one of the UK agents also had a meltdown. So they're in production for this spring. So we will have Barilocci navy blazers this spring. This is quite an oversized look on me now, but that's fab because the oversized blazer is on trend. Underneath I have, I think it's called the striped, it's the fine gauge Breton style jumper in cotton. I've got the Ecru and um, Navy one on uh, because it looks marginally better once I take this jacket off on me than the Navy and white. Obviously, because I have got such a large chest, you can see when I do this that, I don't know, it's the gappy thing here. The Navy looked horrific. This, this, this almost works. And what I've done, ladies, is I've worn the, this jumper and these jeans in the way that is my comfort zone. It's with a blazer and a pair of pointy stilettos because they elongate my legs. What I'm going to do now is show you how I'm bringing it on trend for 2022. So I'll give you a twirl with this jumper um, in, 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 in the flesh, in the news, nothing covering it. I've got my Converse's on on uh, one side. Now, um, those of you who followed us for a while will know that these are my Converse's. We are now in our third summer. I have actually been able to get some copies. So I've got um, faux, these are leather, but I've got faux leather um, uh, com Converse type trainers coming in at the end of May. And I had a long discussion about the fact that we should be flogging them as vegan, which anyway, we'll go on about, we'll have a little discussion about that another time. Since when were plastic shoes vegan? I mean, I can't get my head around that one at all. Plastic shoes are plastic shoes, aren't they? What do you think, Donna? Well, you know, I'm not we should a fan be of plastic. We should be, we, apparently we should be marketing these shoes as vegan. Anyway, we're not. I'm married to a livestock farmer. He will divorce me. So what I've done is I just get rid of my bling, pull that over the top. Now we have really dressed down. And this is a really relaxed look, which is the look for 2022, ladies. I've been buying for the winter. And everything is very pared back. You know, there aren't 
party clothes. There are lots of jeans, lots of comfortable jumpers, gilets. I think we're going to have a year which where we move uh, sort of slowly from tracky bottoms to cocktail dresses. Uh, and, and a lot of this winter is about pared down, very chic, comfortable clothes. And I think that's the trend for this summer. So this is our navy cotton jacket from Signature and it is £75. And I've got no idea what the time is. But are you ready, Donna? Oh, we forgot to put the new clock Are back. you? Yeah, that's OK. Are you, are you ready to clock? roll? We've got a clock, ladies. We just don't know where it is. <laughs> we don't know where it is and we haven't put it up yet. Right, OK. This is um, something a little bit different for you. So, these trousers are my old trousers. Um, yes, they were bought in Artichoke when I bought them. They look nothing like this. So if Helen Haley is watching, Helen came into the shop one day and said, oh, I love your trousers. Have you got them in stock? And I said, well, these were in stock three years ago. So what I do is I dye a lot of my clothes once I've um, worn it and, you know, sort of, oh, I've worn that. I've, I've, I've had enough of that. I'm um, a little bit bored of that uniform. So I dye it and recycle it. So these and lots of the time it's very experimental. Um, I do look at what the fabric's made of. You, you if it's it's purely man made, then it won't um, uh, it won't dye. So it has to have some natural fibres in it. So if it's got cotton in it and wool in it. So um, these trousers, I'm going to show you what they. These are the embossed. So if I show you, these are them in the sale. So this pair is the size eight, which I'm wearing in the sale. Reduced this to 10 quid. Reduced to 10, 10 pound pair of trousers. So, but mine were blue to get this look of black. So if I come close, you can see that the embossed part has come out black and the background has come out grey, which is why I've teamed it with a new um, uh, polar neck in grey and my backpack, solid black backpack. So these trousers, um, Helen had this colour. So Helen went off after she'd spotted my trousers, purchased a dylon. it's in a plastic um, uh, sort of small bowl. There's none of this messing around with salt business. It's by dylon. it's a pure black, and you just throw it in the washing machine and you wash it at a 30 or a 40 degree wash. And it either works and you keep it and you love it, or it doesn't work and you give it to the charity shop. So, but if you're not going to wear it anyway, it's worth a try. So I do adapt and change a lot of clothes and this was a success. So it's worth me showing you um, how I've changed this item because some of you may have bought these and they might have look a little bit worn in the knee area now um, and you can revise them and get, give them a second life. So, um, but Helen, when she dyed these, what colour did she say they came out like? Can't they remember. didn't come out, remember... The eventual colour is determined by the base colour. So I think I'm right in saying that the artists out there will know what this colour in black makes. But I think she said they came out sort of a darkish hint of aubergine purpley. But anyway, different. So different and she liked them and they were... Um, something new to wear so that is my something I old. love them I love them I, I love them too so um, these are my something old trousers that I have dyed with a new grey jumper and obviously when I I could put black with them but um, they're they're perfect with the grey because can you see the background came out grey so there we go that's my top tip for how to um, uh, change something old in your wardrobe Right, Sarah's in her casual look. Right, ladies, so I'm on outfit number four. These are my Stayman cropped flares. Again, I've lost track. Actually, I think these are about four years old. I think these are four years old. I love them. Um, they've got the little leopardy print um, here. And uh, they stop at just above my ankle. For four years, I've worn these trousers with um, 
uh, my, my knee high boots that I wear underneath. So basically because they're a crop flare, I've worn a full boot underneath so that you could see the, the boot coming down. I've worn them with a, a navy roll neck and I've popped my blazer over the top and I have felt fab. But because we're moving into a slightly more relaxed trend now, and I want to get another year out of these trousers because crop flares um, are, are not quite as trendy as they were. And I have a deep suspicion that possibly in a couple of years time, I wouldn't be seen dead in them. Um, I'm not sure though, because I do love the trouser. So just, just so I can get another year or so out of them, I've moved them into a really relaxed look. So what I've got here, is the uh, cropped v-neck jumper from Agel, which is a cashmere merino viscose mix. I think it's 10% cashmere, 20% wool, and then the rest is viscose with a tiny bit of poly. Super soft to the touch, online at £79, and um, they are hand wash, however. Um, and then I've just popped it over uh, the white t-shirt that I bought to pop underneath my um, black crew neck jumper. Now, I was very mistaken in thinking that we had a stash of white t-shirts um, in, in storage and I couldn't find them today. This is the last one that we've got that's long sleeve. So if you want to emulate this look, ladies, you just need to wait about three weeks until our next load of three quarter sleeve t-shirts comes in, or indeed our um, short sleeve t-shirts. But it's just giving you an idea of how to recycle something that you've worn in a fairly formal way and just really be able to dress it down and get a completely new look from it. I'm twittering on because Donna seems to have got changed again. I thought she was ready to come out and she's done it to me again. Sorry. She's completely I changed her outfit at the last minute. Can you imagine what a bloody nightmare it is doing this? Because she gives me a list of telling me what she's worn. Just, and it I, means nothing. I it means nothing, like it ladies. I didn't like oh, it. Oh, no, that looks color. much better. It looks much better. Right, are color. you ready now? Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Not, she's coming on in version number 77 <laughs> of outfit number four. Right, I'm going to hand you over to Donna, ladies. Right, now because I'm feeling guilty, I'm going to be finishing getting dressed on, on screen. <laughs> Right, so I put this on. This is my casual uh, choice. So old jeans, jeans I've had for five years. Look, I've not even done my buttons up. So you have to forget about those. And our new jumpers, oversized. So if you don't like an oversized jumper, don't go there. Um, but they're not oversized, you're just wearing it oversized. I'm wearing it, well, yeah. this is a small, so yeah, well, this is a small, so I think, it, I think it is oversized, actually. Now, I'm, so what I've done is, for my casual, comfy look, I've layered a shirt, I could put a shirt collar underneath, but what I've done is, I've put one of our new um, K-Design shirts um, on. It is K-Design, I hope it is. Um, but the reason I've put this on is to show you, to see if you can see the colour. It's When it's online, it's sort of a very dark navy, but it's actually not. It's a um, very sort of Air Force blue, but it does have patches on it. So it do, if, if you like things uniform, it's one of those um, specially dyed items. So it does, it's not even, it does have some patches on it. They're supposed to be on it. Anyway, so this is my relaxed, oversized jumper, uh, new jumper with old jeans. And looking at ways to wear a scarf. So we ha we've had some people come into the shop and ask us how they put their sc our scarves on when we're on here. And I normally, so Sarah was trying to, um, thank you to Gail who put on the how to do a scarf. So this is the one I normally do. You'll see me doing that one a lot. So that's the one I normally do. However, up until last year, that's the one I'm into this year. This is the one I always, always did. And I've just always done this because I, um, I used to work, I was the children's nanny to uh, my lovely model friend, Kate. And this is the way she always used to wear her scarf. So from a young age, I copied Kate. 
and that's how um, I always wore a scarf up until this year and I know that until you're shown I mean many of you probably think oh yeah I know how to do that but some of you hopefully anybody not know that that was an, a quick way to do it so there we go double it up and put it through right so that is my um, let's give you some prices shall we right these jumpers are with they come in navy the cable they've got a lovely cable design to them they come in navy and this um, sort of cream off-white they are online as the cotton jumper by signature or signature cotton jumper they are 65 pounds um, the scarves are the masterpiece this is the masterpiece uh, vase of roses they have gone down now ladies to 15 pounds we don't have all of them in starry night sold out today uh, we've got the dancer I can't think what else anyway we've got vase of roses so um, just just we will have to double check so yes so the the jumpers are 65 the shirt the shirt I don't the shirt I want to say it's 48 but I will double check for you right Sarah's coming on and I will check the time okay so ladies um if I just pop my jacket back on just to show you so this is an outfit that I've had forever. It's my go-to uniform. Crew neck jumper, blazer, dark jeans. I'm just gonna quickly tell you about the jeans because these are our 2021. Now you know that forever we have been looking for a pair of 30 inch jeans to sit alongside the magic stretch, which come in a 32 and a 27. Didn't get anywhere with the brands that we usually work with. So John in Tunisia has put um, feelers out and we've managed to get these made for us in Tunisia. They're not exactly a magic stretch replica. They are marginally higher in the waist because that's what we asked for. And they are marginally narrower in the leg because that is what we asked for. So they are a gorgeous jean. Um, at the moment, the first lot, then the uh, cloth it does not hold its colour as well as the magic stretch. So they will fade sooner. Because, however, we're not buying them through a brand, we can get them to you at a better price. So these are £59. So if you have a little look online for the 2021s, these are my new favourite jeans. The cheapest way, ladies to update an outfit just to give it a little bit of freshness is to add a scarf and as uh, Donna has already said we're very grateful to Gail Marks for this she actually popped a video on um, Facebook about a couple of weeks ago so if you go onto the group ladies you can scroll through and see the video that Gail put on showing you how to tie a scarf and i am sincerely hoping that the, this i practiced this this is one i did earlier i hope it still works yes ta -da! oh my god i've done it i can't believe this love it just look how this has lifted the outfit i don't like scarves i mean i wear them in the winter because they keep my neck warm but doesn't this look fabulous ladies i'm so thrilled so i'm going to um probably add scarves to my spring uh, wardrobe and i never thought i would hear myself saying that but this is a gorgeous poly silk scarf it costs 19 pounds these are not online if we hadn't had jeans gate they would be but i am going to attempt to um, get some photos done as soon as we've caught up with our jeans delivery. So this is the first one, ladies, and I've also got another scarf idea. I'm just gonna grab it. We have a little look at the time. We've got, okay. Oh yeah, we've got about five, five minutes, so we're okay. We might have to finish quickly. Whilst Don is getting changed, I'm just gonna talk about Friday. Gail, who popped the, um, scarf video on artichoke girls is joining us on friday we're going to do a meet the artichoke girls special meeting gail 
We're not going to spend too much time chatting to her about what she does, but what we're going to do is a similar video that we did with Sandy last summer. So we're going to talk about her style, her body shape. We're going to show you items that she would and wouldn't wear. And then we're going to talk through why. And this is part of the series that we want to show you ladies apart from Donna and I. And um, just show you uh, what their style is and um, the challenges they find with their body shape and what they like to wear. So hopefully it gives you inspiration. So this is my new favourite scarf. These will be online actually later this week. They are called the Tree of Life. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. My lovely friend June taught me how to do this. No, it's gone wrong already. I think that goes like that. There you are. Yeah, I think I'm, oh God, I've done two scarves almost tied properly. This is unheard of because normally I just scrunch them up around my neck. I'm going to come close into the camera. This is the Tree of Life. This is the gold one. So it's light gold on dark gold. Mm. We have, oh no, I don't think that did work actually. Now I'm looking down. We have olive on gold. We have, Sorry, we have gold on olive and we have uh, gold on a uh, taupe. And I think they're going to be 18 pounds. They are spring weight, ladies, so they're not as heavy. Although they are a wool mix, they're not as heavy as our winter scarves. They're perfect for now. And again, nobody on this planet would realise that this scarf cost you under 20 quid. It's got the beautiful contrast in gold on the back. So this is mine. Um, I grabbed it as soon as I unpacked it. Beautiful, beautiful scarf. I love these. I might actually become scarf woman this spring. Are you ready, mine? Yes, oh, my, I, I love that outfit. Donna's coming back for her last outfit. Okay, so the shirt I showed you under the jumper, I was correct. It is by K Design. It is 48. I just had a little uh, confidence issue there. Right, so this one is the high high neck. What did we call it? Uh, the high, well, high neck blouse. Um, it is £45, yes it is, and the reason I've chosen this to be my last outfit was because it has some absolutely beautiful, I love the buttons, I love the buttons on this, but they are, look how tiny they are, so I didn't want to be frantically panicking, that I, so I've only done one up, look, just because, so, uh, and the same at the neck, so at the neckline you've got some of those, two of those lovely buttons, so lovely silver button and as you know I like my silver. So the colour, I'll come close, the colour, what, how would you describe slate it Sarah? Blue. Slate blue, slate blue and I've teamed it with, I think it goes very well with the snake print bag. Chloe, that's called Chloe. That's called Chloe, oh yes by Chloe, um, it's named after um, Chloe that I remember as a little girl daughter of Karen. Um, so my old item are my eyegalls. So the eyegalls are by Stamen. Ladies, you normally go down a size in the eyegalls. They are a 7 8 trouser, but on me, if you look, they are practically full length. But I'm always telling people that most ladies fit two sizes in these trousers and I am one of those people. So today, because I forgot my eyegalls that I've had for years and years and years, so I've pinched a pair out the shop. These are a size eight, um, so I fit um, a size eight. These are the smaller size they come in, but luckily I have a pair that is, that's a one-off, that is down one size. So I fit that, that's the size you normally see me in. So, but look, I'm fitting the eight. Um, it just, for some of you that don't want them really tight, it shows you that if you, um, that some of you that don't want these worn tightly can stick to your size and still wear them and get away with them. My preference is for the, sh the, the smaller size, only because of my height and so it means that the the smaller size is slightly shorter for my own personal preference but look fitting me just um as nicely so that's what we that's what i mean when i say that for some ladies fit two sizes in these trousers and it's a per personal preference so um i go uh i goes are 58 pounds by Stamen, if you need, if you don't like a seven eighth trouser, then take a look at the Ina or the Inula. Um, but that's how I up I up I update eyegalls every year. We all do, don't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. We update our eyegalls every year because I've been wearing them now for five years, and I wear them some. I wear them every season, 
um, with um, something appropriate for the season. I love them in the summer with a wedge heel and I equally love them with my um, favourite high heel black ankle boots. So there we go. Cool. Am right. Been... Oh, time. What's right, the time like? We're okay. Are we okay? So we're back yes. on a Friday, ladies. Donna's going to be behind the camera on Friday. So if you have questions for me and for Gail, just shout them out. Donna will be chatting with you. Gail will be here. I hope lots of you will join us to give her a warm welcome. I haven't actually published the event yet, but um, I haven't, uh, might get that done tonight. I'm not sure. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've picked up a lot from it. Um, if I find my diary ever again, we'll be able to actually publish a few more events. But until I find my diary, we've got no idea what we're doing. Whatever you're doing, have a fabulous week, ladies. And we will speak to you soon. Cheers. And happy Valentine's oh, night. Happy Valentine's I hope you're night. being spoiled. Are you going to speak to your husband this Valentine's night? <laughs>